here in downtown Kamloops, it's sadly not hard to find a residential school survivor living out much of their life on the city streets. Douglas Heisen Eustache is one of them. His story is heartbreaking and hard to hear, but he wanted to try and share it, he says, to let out some of his pain and help people understand what his experience in the former Kamloops residential school did to him and how that recent discovery brought it all back. You know, I didn't know there um, could be little kids that were buried there in it, and it broke down pretty bad. I was there from 71 to 75. I could hear my friends and that crying, getting dragged, dragged downstairs, whatever. Eustache's story is a tragic testament to the trauma tied to the country's colonial past. And the recent discovery here has reopened wounds so deep, he says he can't sleep at night. He told us he wanted to share his story, but it brought up so much pain, he was unable to continue his interview with us. I wanted to get out of there so bad, but I was raped and abused mentally, physically, sexually, and all that. You know, I hear about all these kids that might be my family over there buried too. I can't do this. And this is a depiction of the devastation he deals with daily. But as I sat with him, and in the hours after this moment, he told us he's determined to continue trying to heal for the sake of future generations. Neetu Garcha, Global News, Kamloops, BC.